readings and salutations, fellow scholars and assorted people on the World Wide Web. My name is Leona Levy, also known on our YouTube as Tesla. Uh, I'm here today to talk about the dreams and how they relate to my art, especially recently. Behind me is the painting that started the talk for me, uh, bringing my dreams into my art. This painting is based on a recurring nightmare that I had. Uh, I guess we need a little backstory before I can fully explain the painting. What happened was about six months ago, my husband was relocated to Paducah, Kentucky for some work. He was doing a contact work for his company for one of their clients. And what was supposed to be a two month stay wound up stretching into about a six month stay. Well, during that time, I decided that I was not going to stay in Paducah with him, and I was going to come back home to Slidell and take care of him here. What kept happening was every time he was scheduled to come home, something would come up, and uh, he'd call me to tell me, oh, well, I'm not coming home when I thought I was. I'm going to have to stay in Paducah. I was getting increasingly stressed between trying to start school this semester and taking care of our four-year-old, things were getting a little rough on me. It was also about this time that I started having this reoccurring nightmare, which is depicted in the picture before you. Uh, I would dream that I was watching myself being hacked in the back with a meat cleaver by a maniac. And the, the fun thing was, as I was watching myself, I was laughing the entire time I was bleeding. This thing haunted me. Uh, I, mean, I was having it just about every night. So finally I decided the only way I'm going to get over this is to confront it. This is a prime example of how I really believe my our dreams are ways that we're trying to communicate with ourselves. Because it was after I started the painting that when I looked at the maniac, I realized, oh my God, he looks like my husband. And he has very much a lot of attributes with my husband. It was then, after I did the painting and confronted this thing that was terrifying me, that I realized, I am really, really hurt by my husband being in Kentucky. And I, to the point where I feel like he stabbed me in the back. So uh, it led to this situation now where I am confronting my nightmares in my dreams, and I'm actually learning a lot about myself. Now, how this relates to uh, chapter 5 that we just covered in psychology is with dream interpretation. I have always felt that my dreams are, are my way of telling myself something that I don't want to acknowledge, like with this. I didn't think I was mad at my husband over this whole situation. But I began to realize that I really, really was hurt. So, uh, this was my dream's way of, you know, my, my mind's way of shading kind of what I was feeling but confronting me with it. Uh, this is also evident in another dream that I've been having where I am swimming in this cave in this very beautiful clear water and I am just a gorgeous, gorgeous my perfect body, perfect hair, perfect everything. But when I come out of the water, I find that I've lost my bathing suit top. And again, this goes to me feeling that my dreams are my way of communicating to myself. It's kind of a mix of what Freud was saying and, and the cognitive view, where there's symbols, but it's also kind of our, our brain's way of processing what's going on in our life and letting us know. Because when I looked up some of the dream symbolism, I found out that Water is a symbol for the uh, subconscious, and if you swim in the water in your dream, it's a way of bringing your your unconscious thoughts into the conscious world, which is what I'm actually physically trying to do with these paintings. The other thing I discovered with uh, body perception is how others are going to perceive you, and if you're comfortable with your body in the dream, that means you're comfortable with how others are perceiving you. However, if you are naked in any way, like I am in the dream when I lose the top of my bathing suit, uh, 
how you feel about your nudity also means how you feel about being exposed, which is totally relevant right now because this kind of work that I'm doing with the painting is is a very exposed kind of thing for me. I'm showing people my deep inner thoughts, my dreams, the things that only my my dreaming unconscious mind is able to say. But at the same time, because you know, in the dream, I was very happy to tell my body, and I was not ashamed at all. It it kind of tells me that I'm also very proud of what I'm doing with my work right now, and I really, really feel that I'm headed in the right direction. So, anyway, to kind of sum up, uh, I was very, very interested in this chapter on dreaming. I thought it was very, especially relevant to what I'm doing right now, and. I really, really believe that, you know, your dreams, no matter what they are, whether they're as horrifying as a nightmare or, you know, really beautiful and great and pleasant and the kind of dream you want to fall back into, I think it's a mix of a little bit of both. Uh, Freudian, maybe not so much Freudian, his symbolism gets a little too, <laughs> too literal for me. Uh, but still, I think it's a mixture of symbolism and, you know, the, your, your brain trying to process what you're going through. Because maybe sometimes there are some things that you don't want to admit to yourself, but, you know, it's going to come through anyway. So, that'll be all. Uh, whether you like my painting or not, I hope you uh, can appreciate what I was trying to do with it. And I'm very interested to see what the rest of the podcast is So, thank you for watching my little presentation.